All right. It's the, it's the next morning. I don't think you can see it down there, but there's snow dogs out in the lake. I want to see the snow puppy. The what? The snow puppy. Do you miss yours? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get you some uh, real snow boots. Those are, they're only going to cut it for the rest of the trip. No, my feet are cold. Ah! <laughs> As I bust my ass. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, Mike, look at them. Look at them go. Look at the doggos. Standing by the fire to stay warm while she watches huskies. Alright, I guess we're about to do some dog sledding. What do you think? I sure hope so. Look at that. Look at those doggos. Alright, and then still will be Oh, I want to touch them. Alright, so we just asked some random lady about the dog sledding. She said that they tried. And it was all booked up, but they had a larger group. So we're on our way up the stairs to <laughs> the front desk to ask if they have room for two people to go sledding today. Fingers crossed. There she goes. She's off to find out. She's going too fast. Sorry, there's a loud ass truck going by. That one's all you, Brian. For watching this, sir, this is all you. I'm booking for Saturday. It's currently Thursday. Saturday at nine. Saturday at nine works. Under what name? Uh, you can put it under Michael. I left my wallet. Perfect. Yeah. Um, you can uh, you can pay them. It will be a hundred and ten for both of you. Okay. And it's payable in cash only for the dog sitting. Cash only. Okay. okay. So sounds Thank good. You. Thank you so much, buddy. No problem. You have a great one. Thank you. All right, we're all booked for Saturday at nine o'clock. The 110 Canadian, $90 United, 45 minutes. We get to drive our own sleigh, control our own pups. We should do this at home. Yeah, Loki. we can just think Loki can pull our fat asses. Yeah, we still lazy. Look at those studios. Pretty sleepy, yeah, because they have like a little upstairs thing. Yeah, we got a little upstairs area. We don't. Wait, we have an upstairs area, it's a loft. Yeah, like we don't have a window though. No window. And where are we off to today, baby? Montreal. Old Montreal. Are we saying it right? Montreal. 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 <laughs> so there's this really cute gas attendant, right? Hey, Mike. How you doing? I'm confused. I can't read this thing. Can you Google Translator? Uh, no, I'm just pretending I know what I'm doing. It's not as easy when there's no English on the pumps. But it looks like he's got it. I think it's working. It's working. All right, everybody from New Jersey. These pumps are in French and you have to pump it yourself. Double pump. Let that sit for a second. <laughs> So we park, right? And we uh, parallel park. Nice job, get in there snug. As we're getting the stuff out of the car, the guy behind us decides to get in his car and go to leave. Yeah, literally he my car. lets his foot off the brake and taps the back bumper. You just feel the car rock a little bit as we grab the cameras. So, uh, yeah. I checked it out. No damage. Literally tapped it this easily. She and was then, pissed. 
and then blamed us for not giving him room. We didn't give him much, enough space. So we're off to North Face store to grab her some snow boots because the ones that she's wearing aren't really cutting it. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> those are some dress boots if I've ever seen them. She can't decide what shoe she wants. She doesn't even know this guy. She's just helping him pick shoes for somebody. Gotcha. All right, so it comes down to two, two boots. Tall blacks, shorter tans. I like the tall ones. What do you think? The tall ones. And I feel like they feel, I feel like this one is like maybe a little warmer though. Tan one's warmer. Uh oh. Hardest decision of a woman's life. Which shoe to get? Tall dark ones? Was I right? Oh. Hear that, y'all? I guess the right ones. Hey. I'm doing good this year. <laughs> See what happens when I sit in a store for too long? I end up making a $30 Canadian purchase for socks. But they feel super comfortable, so. So, Montreal kind of looks like, it's like it, Philly. It's like a cross between Philly and New York. Yeah. You can see that. And basically all the same stores we have at home. With just a bunch of different French names surrounding it that we don't understand. Alright, we made it to Old Town Montreal. Let's go straight. And I'm looking like I'm straight about to uh rob them. I had to whip out the face mask. <laughs> My nose is running. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't get away from me. <laughs> you falling? Nope. She's about to bust her ass over here. I better not. If I get that on camera, that'd be pretty fun. All right. Montreal's got the seal of approval. Found the only store that matters. Yep. I can open the door. Okay. It's a push. Now we're going to explore old Montreal. And get some food. And get some food in my belly. Cheese totalini. Maybe we could uh, eat at Liz. I don't know how to say that. No clue how to say that. I need to learn French. Well, we found a place with Montreal poutine. Let's see if what that lady at that uh, grocery store said about it is true. The moment of truth. All right, so this is poutine. Let's see what this is all about. I see French fries, sauce, chicken, cheese. Cheese. How was the first bite? Good. So, what do you think of your first experience with poutine? Poutine is delicious. Poutine. Yep. Now on to the next uh, restaurant. Look. Mm -hmm. You're, you've got your own sign. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Don't shoot me. Damn, girl, you fine. Come around here often? Oh. Oh. Shake, shake, shake. Whatever. <laughs> she always manages to find huskies everywhere she goes. <laughs> Uh, hold on, these are crazy on Wednesdays. Yeah, you have had the kids? Yes. Much bigger, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, they're from... Loki would be jealous. Loki would be very jealous. How old are they? Yeah, four months. So this is a very beautiful Ferris wheel. And a very beautiful fire pit. Not lit. But the fire pit is not lit. All right, so Ferris wheel is beautiful. The area is beautiful, but 
here comes the snow. <laughs> Camera gear's out in the snow. Uh, Here's a frozen lake. You want to walk on it? Uh-uh. Would you go down there? What crack? Right there. Oh, there's a crack. That's a crack. Right oh, that a crack. We all have crack. <laughs> Why you got to judge the lake for its crack? Because I'm not about it. Oh. You good? You look a little cold there, love. It's only two degrees. I want to go up to that ship. Obstacle course? Zip lining. Zip lining. All that fun stuff. She found her calling. The cafe. Chocolate mousse and ganache and coffee. And that's a lot of sugar. Look at this tourist. It's a nice sight though. I don't blame her. Getting blasted like in the face with snow. Snow. It's so pretty though. I love it. Maybe. They have like underground bars. I think it's a lot more beautiful at night than yes. it is in the day. In the day it kind of just looks like here. Philadelphia. Where'd she go? I can't see. Alright, so that ends an Old Town Montreal trip. We are getting in the car and we are heading back to the lodge. You always gotta beat off your boots. <laughs> We're gonna maybe go in the hot tub. Yeah. Warm up a little bit. Or a sauna, you know. And go to sleep because we gotta get up early for a snowboarding big day tomorrow. Big, yes. big day. It's gonna be a good time. See you guys tomorrow.